Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Division video. And in today's video, I want to talk about some changes, some really awesome sounding changes that are coming to the 1.2 update, which should hopefully be dropping this month. We don't actually have a date just yet, but during today's state of the game, the guys spoke about some of the changes that we'll be seeing in the next update, which of course brings with it a new incursion and some other stuff as well. So if you guys do enjoy this video and you do like the sound of some of these changes, don't forget to drop a like on this video and also let me know in the comments down below what you think. And a minor thing as well, if you guys hear any background noise, some people are digging up the road behind me apparently, so apologies if you guys can hear that, but let's get started. So, as mentioned, there's currently no date for 1.2. They said in the stream, in the State of the Game stream, that it's currently in the testing phase and they're really keen to sort of make sure they iron out any bugs. They don't really have a repeat of the 1.1 update where, you know, the incursion comes out and everyone finds holes in it. So, for the time being, there's no date, but as soon as we know something, I will of course make a video and let you guys know. But they did talk about a few of the things that they'll be bringing with the update. Of course, there'll be a lot more things that they will, of course, announce at some point in the future. I imagine they'll probably drop a trailer like they did for 1.1 or something like that, and we'll have some hefty patch notes. But for the time being, there are a few cool things that should hopefully improve the player experience. So, first thing, a couple of fixes. They did mention that things like Reckless, One is None, uh, those will be fixed in the 1.2 update. Plus, things like Mission Doors not opening and the Base Operations Wing is not unlocking. That will also be fixed, among some other things as well. But one of the first new things they want to talk about is that there will be a third Dark Zone bracket being added in the 1.2 update. Now do bear in mind this is the 1.2 update, not say now that the servers are just back up. So don't go thinking it will be there today. This is when they do the next kind of big sized update. But the Dark Zone brackets will now be as follows. There will be 160 and below, which currently exists. Then there's the 161 plus bracket, which at the moment is the current top bracket. But there will then be a third bracket, which will be 201 plus. So you'll basically have... 160 and below, 161 to 200, and 201 plus. And the idea is that this should hopefully separate people a little bit more because you guys have said that sometimes, you know, if you're sitting at, say, gear score 161, and then there are some people at, say, gear score 220 or 219, 216, whatever it is, then it can get a little bit hectic. And while gear score as a physical number doesn't necessarily mean power, obviously people with better gear and higher gear will, of course, have the advantage over lower people. So it does make things a little bit harder for people that are trying to go around farming, gearing up, playing style, all that stuff. So hopefully, Hopefully, this should make things in the Dark Zone a much better experience. But, on top of that, the 200 plus bracket isn't just to separate people. It's also going to be a place that people should be aiming for because they said that there will be better loot in the 200 plus bracket. Now, if you guys are anything like me, then you go around the Dark Zone in the 161 bracket and you basically, well, assuming that you have, say, you know, a higher gear score, something like 200 plus, then generally speaking, anything in the Dark Zone isn't really of use to you because weapons tend to drop at, what, 163, 182... 191, anything like that, you don't see to get any 204 stuff, so generally speaking, there's not really much point going in the Dark Zone unless you're going to go in there just to have fun, or you're going to go in there to, say, visit one of the vendors and buy a blueprint. But what they did say during this stream was that the level of the enemies in the 200 plus bracket will be that much higher. You'll actually have level 32 to 34 enemies. Now, 34, we currently only see those guys in the incursions, so I imagine that's going to be pretty damn insane. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out. It might end up getting super hectic to the point where you run up and get killed. I imagine especially, say, up in the top section, say DZ06, if you encounter any, like, level 34 shotgunners, then you're basically going to be bringing the nightmares from the incursion into the dark zone, so we're going to have to wait and see how that pans out. But of course, high level enemies does mean better loot. They did actually say in passing that 204 weapons do have a chance to drop, but they also said that you will get fewer mod drops. So, of course, a lot of the time you guys will see, say, a high-end drop and you run forward and be like, oh, yeah, what is this? And you find actually it's just a silencer or a suppressor or a grip or something. So they said that they are going to reduce the amount of mods dropping and they're going to increase the amount of weapons that drop. So hopefully, going forward, the idea being is that this will be a better source of weapons or, like, another equal source of weapons and crafting won't just be the only thing. Because right now, if you want a weapon, you go and craft it because the weapons you get in the Dark Zone aren't that great, and of course also they're not reliable because generally speaking you're not getting weapons. But when the 1.2 update drops, the idea is that you can go around farming bosses and hopefully you should get some weapons and of course have a chance of dropping at 204, meaning they could generally be viable. They actually gave an example in stream, they said that one of the testers got uh, an AK that dropped with Deadly, Brutal and Vicious, so, you know, goes to say that you could actually get something good. They also said that the 1.2 update is just generally supposed to improve the loot experience overall, so the idea being that incursions, challenge mode, even hard mode will get better drops anyway. So you could say that like 1.2 is say like a generosity patch. Now on top of that, there's a couple of quotes that were really kind of cool. There is one thing they said, uh, they didn't actually give any details on it, but they did say, and I quote, in the 1.2 update, you will fight for the supply drops, I can guarantee that. Now again, they didn't say why, but I imagine it means they're gonna improve what we get in the supply drops, because right now, a lot of the time, you do get purple stuff. You do have a chance at getting some gear set pieces, some high ends, and actually a weapon skin. 
but I personally have only ever had purple items from a supply drop. So of course it's not really, you know, they introduced this really cool new mechanic which could potentially have, you know, changed the way the Dark Zone is played and then the first few times people got a supply drop they were like, well I'm never going to bother ever again because I'm getting superior or purple weapons. So the fact that they said that probably implies that they're going to change that and make it so they're actually valuable and viable again, um, but of course until they give us more details we'll have to wait and see. And the final thing they said, and I think they said this because in chat everyone was like, well, thanks for telling us about the Dark Zone, but what about PvE? They did say, and again, I quote, PvE will receive a lot of love. They said nothing else after that. So again, we obviously have no idea exactly what that means. Hopefully we'll get some more stuff to do. Because right now, while I might jump in and do some of the assignments, I don't really have a real incentive to try and complete them. So I do still spend most of my time in the Dark Zone. So it would be nice to have some more stuff to do. But either way, that is pretty much it. Of course, this wasn't a dedicated stream like they did before. This wasn't actually like the 1.2 stream. This was just like some passing information, but it does still give us some cool things to look forward to. It does still sound like they're trying to make some genuine improvements to try and improve the loot quality and of course improve our overall experience. Either way, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.